إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره نعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تسألون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها فإن كل محدثة بدعة كل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وإنما توعدون لآت وما أنتم بمعجزين I greet you all with the greeting of Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May the peace and the blessing of Almighty Allah be with you all I'd like to welcome you all for continuation of our series Al-Kabair which means major sins and today inshallah this is going to be segment number 31 we are going to talk about one of the sins that count to be major and that for every male or female Muslim they have to do their best to avoid it as much as they can because it's displeasing to Allah and to His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and this is Al-Kadhib Fi Ghalibi Aqwalihi Frequent Line Not speaking the truth saying lies that mean you say something which he doesn't agree with the reality of what you're talking about as example if I ask you if your father home he say no and he is home if I ask you are you did you make Salat al-Asr he say yes and he didn't make asr so your saying is different from your action regardless if you telling about something happening or that is happening or something didn't happen and you say it happened or you given description about somebody or in for anything that you informing somebody about it that you saying something is different from the real thing or what is it is as is and the la'na of Allah and the curse of Allah is falling onto those people who say lies as I said, talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking in Surah Ala Imran, Surah number 3, verse number 61, فَنَجْعَلُ لَعْنَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْكَاذِبِينَ That the curse of Allah, let it be upon the liars. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also is saying, قُتِلَ الْخَرَّاسُونَ 
this surah number 51 verse number 10 may the liars be perished And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying in Surah Al-Mu'min, Surah number 40, verse number 28, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِي مَنْ هُوَ مُسْرِفٌ كَذَّابٌ Allah doesn't guide the one who is wasteful and a liar. Allah doesn't guide and musrif wasting your money wasting your time wasting your effort and also the liar those people Allah doesn't guide them in the collection of Imam Al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim Rahmatullahi Alayhima Ibn Mas'ud may Allah be pleased with him saying قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الصدق يهدي إلى البر وإن البر يهدي إلى الجنة وما يزال الرجل يصدق يصدق ويتحرى الصدق حتى يكتب عند الله صديقا وإياكم وإن الكذب يهدي إلى الفجور وإن الفجور يهدي إلى النار وما يزال الرجل يكذب ويتحرى الكذب حتى يكتب عند الله كذابا The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم telling us to be to say the truth because Truthfulness guides to righteousness. And righteousness leads to Jannah. A person will say the truth and always try to say the truth until he will be, he or she will be recorded with Allah as a truthful person. The Prophet وسلم, say, be aware of lying because lying leads to leads to Selfness and selflessness guides and takes a person to hellfire. A person will lie a continual lying until he be he or she will be recorded with Allah as a liar. So that means as sometimes you don't pay attention, you are not caring, you are not being careful how you say things, how you relate things, and today one lie, tomorrow two lies, and after this you keep with this line until you became a sinful and person that And self uh, excuse me, and self, uh, and what is the word for sure? Yeah, and being sinfulness, it will lead you to be one of the dwellers of hellfire. So that means when you take something as is not a big thing in your life, 
doesn't matter if something good or bad it will grow eventually with you so if you a person who gave even a dime or a quarter in a charity okay and you keep doing it keep doing it it will bring you to get to used to this good habit and this good righteousness okay and it will make you eventually to come to a state of righteousness same thing will apply when you start in doing sins especially about lying so a lie will add to another lie and another lie it became not only a sentence of lying will be a story and after this you find yourself everything that you are telling not why because you got into this habit so this this uh, line and this selflessness state it make you get used to it as a result of this you will be recorded with Allah that you are a, a sinful and a liar the Prophet sallallahu told in us in the hadith that ayatul munafiq thalath even if he ولو صلى ولو صام وزعم أنه مسلم إذا حدث كذب وإذا وعد أخلف وإذا تمن خال a sign of a hypocrite are three we know that hypocrisy is something very serious so the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم saying this is the symptoms and this is the sign of a liar which how many are three they are three doesn't matter what he claimed to be even if he looked to you looked at you or you look at him to be a Muslim and look like a Muslim acting or speaking like a Muslim he, he will have a hypocrisy in his heart so what is the sign of a hypocrite person the Prophet وسلم, said when he speaks he tells lies when he promise he, he break his promise and when I say he does not mean have to be a male okay he or she because lying is haram for male or female okay you are not supposed to be lying. You are not supposed to be breaking your promises. I see you at 5 o'clock, you come at 8 o'clock. I see you at 8 o'clock, I didn't come. Period. And also another sign of a hypocrite, even if he claimed to be a Muslim, is what? Is Tumina Khan. When you trust him or her, they betray the trust. Doesn't matter, you trust him with the money, you trust him with your car, you trust him with your family, you trust him with the secret. And say, I want to share something with you, but I don't want anybody to know it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you tell him, after one day, he found the news all over the mosque, all over the community. You see? So one of the signs of the hypocrite, and I'm sure this is a serious disease for a Muslim to be labeled a hypocrite by the Prophet, you don't want to be this person. So watch when you talk. You don't. You are not. You are not a broadcast station. Okay, that you always have to be talking, 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 talking. You are not a broadcast station. So, before you open your lips, think. 
And what I'm going to speak about is something pleasing to Allah or not? If not, so keep your lips closed. Don't talk. You'll be in the safe side. So before you talk, you need to think. And if something that you want to tell, see what's the benefit or the harm of it. Why are you talking to people about such a thing? What are you gaining from it? And be careful, because if it's not, it's going to be recorded again it's you. And after this, eventually, you're going to get to this habit to be a liar, and you'll be recorded with Allah as a liar. In another narration, the Prophet وسلم, he said that four characteristics أربع من كنا فيه كان منافقا خالصا ومن كانت فيه خصلة منها كان فيه خصلة من النفاق حتى يدعها إذا تمن خان وإذا عاهد الغدر وَإِذَا خَاصَمَ فجر. Here is the Prophet وسلم, in this narration he says that four things four characteristics if they are in one person he will be a truly hypocrite and if he have one symptoms if he have one quality out of this four that this person have one quality of hypocrisy so if you get the four of them you are a true munafiq okay that mean munafiq in action not in belief all right because the munafiqeen in belief, this will azu billah in hellfire, in the lowest places of hellfire. And there is a nifaq, hypocrisy in action, doesn't have anything to do with your belief. That means your behavior is a behavior of a munafiq, a hypocrite person. The Prophet said, if you have one of them, so that means you have what? One of the characteristic of a munafiq. The first one, when you trust it, you betray the trust. When you trust it with a secret, with a property, with anything, you don't take care of it. This is bad. When you dispute, argue with somebody, you don't to draw a line. You keep going and going. Okay? If you give when you speak you lie when you mix agreement you break the agreement and when you go
When he trusted you, betray the trust. When you speak, you lie. When you promise, you break the promise. And when you dispute with somebody or disagree with somebody, you don't know how to make a limit for it. The Prophet Sallallahu telling us if somebody say, I see, I saw in my dream such and such, and he is lying in his dream, like some people say, I saw the Prophet in my dream. I saw such and such, and it was a nice place, and I ask somebody, where is this going? He say, this, this is your way to Jannah. But he making up a story. He did not see anything in his dream. All right? In the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him to to tie a knot between two hairs. That means something beyond his ability to do it. Okay? Like you take two pieces of your hair and you try to connect them together. Of course, you could not. You could not even barely feel the hair in your hand. But it shows you that don't don't lie. Doesn't matter if you're awake or you're sleeping about something you saw or you didn't see, or even telling the people I saw something in my dream, but you are not really so anything in your dreams is not acceptable in Islam. The Prophet وسلم, in his journey of Isra and Mi'raj, or in the dream that he saw, a Prophet وسلم, not Isra and Mi'raj, but in one of the dreams, the Prophet وسلم, he saw a man that they cut in his two sides of his mouth all the way until the back or to the neck. And his nose also, they cut in it, open it, all the way to the back. Same thing about the eyes. So the Prophet ﷺ asked in his dream, what is this? Why, why is this thing happening to this man? They said, this is a person which he leave his house lying and his lies goes all over the town. Okay? It is sufficient sin, as the Prophet says, sufficient sin that you inform and tell about everything you hear. Or so and so you understand such I heard from so and I heard from so I heard. So now you became a tell teller. Nothing else. As if this and you we say it 
in a form of affirmative. Such a thing happened, such a thing happened. You didn't see. You don't know if it's true or not. Why you have to keep telling the story about things that you are not sure if it's right or not? And one of the things like those people who work in uh, TV station and entertain people and give news or reading the news or whatever. This is not to understand a professional that a Muslim is supposed to, to be part of it. Because you don't know. You don't know. If you are not sure from something, why? how are you going to relate it? There is nothing called, it's my job. Okay, I'm only reading it. Yeah, but when you come in front of the camera and you read these things, and people will take it from you and pass it to others, and others keep going. You don't know. Oh, and China did this, and America did this, and the president, and and this country did this. And you talking about? Okay. So this is not a professional, because you, as a Muslim, if you do not sure from something. You are not supposed to speak about it. Otherwise, you one of the liars. You one of the liars. And the worst kind of liars now, since we're talking about lying and how haram it is, that people fabricate a hadith or narrating a week a hadith since the Prophet said, And the Prophet وسلم, said about those people, let them have a seat in hellfire. You don't have to be a scholar, you don't have to be a sheikh. Leave this job to somebody else. Okay? You want to convey something? And you want to get a blessing? Okay. Do not read to anybody from any book other than the Quran or Bukhari or Muslim. This is it. Until you learn. How many ahadith been published? How many things about the Prophet said, the Prophet said, the Prophet said? Say, brother, was in a book. I know was in a book. All kind of things in books. But if you don't know about the authentication of the hadith, you are getting yourself in a big trouble. But brother, I care and I want to teach the people about Islam. It's fine. You want to convey? Make sure what you convey is true. And since you don't know it's true or not true, I will say to you, you're going to have to limit your information to the Quran or hadith in collection of Imam al-Bukhari or hadith in the collection of Imam Muslim. Other than this, all the books of hadith you will find weak hadith there, and maybe you find even a hadith that is not authentic. So we have to be very careful. We are not supposed to lie to the people. We are not supposed to lie against the Prophet Sallallahu Wasallam. We are not supposed to be carry tales, okay, for whatever reason that. Focus in yourself. This is our problem. Oh, guess what? So and so did such and such. And uh, so and so they said, Why are you talking about people? Why? 
why you don't understand focus in yourself leave the people alone leave the people to Allah Allah will deal with them when you focus in yourself you be able to save yourself but when you concern about entertaining people and to be like a star and you always telling something about some now you're getting in trouble and this will be as the prophet said is a sign of hypocrisy that the person when he speaks he'd say lies The Prophet ﷺ had advised us to avoid suspicion because suspicion is the worst kind of lie. Okay? We'll close with the last hadith. One of the three people whom Allah doesn't speak to them in the day of judgment, that means he ignores them, is Malakun, Malikun Kadhab, a ruler which is a liar. Oh boy. Allah knows best how many we have nowadays like this. Kings, presidents, mayors, whatever, that people are in position, high position in the government, in authority, and they're lying. You're supposed to be in a position, you are not understand, you're the ruler, you are the ruler. How you can be a ruler, and you're supposed to be the army under your hand, and the police under your hand, and after this you're a liar. Oh, we're going to invade such a country because such a country, you understand, they are terrorists. They are preparing to attack us. And we're going to go, you understand, to teach them lesson. And he knows, he knows. This president or this king or whatever he is, he knows that he fabricated this story only to go occupy another country and take over another other place so they can get you understand the good things that in their land and oppress people those people you understand look you the man supposed to be example for others you supposed to be directing people towards something good in their life and after this, giving them a false information. And after this, you make people killing each other for nothing. So you can establish any more land and you have more territory and all these things. We always have to keep in our minds that we're going to be gathered before Allah and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us in the day of a judgment. And remember, as Allah said, مَا يَلْفِذُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ There is no a single word, not even a word, a, anything that you say, unless two angels standing there, they will record it. If it's good, it will be written. If it's bad, it will be written by the other angel. So remember, everything that you say in it is going to be recorded for you or against you. So do not say something that you will regret for it in the day of a judgment. With this, inshallah, we'll come to conclusion to our segment for today. Be looking forward to see you again tomorrow, if Allah will. If anybody have any comments or correction, feel free to do so.
if you have any question you may send it <coughs> to Imam Adli number one at yahoo.com and inshallah I will bring the answer to you in the next segment thank you for being here Jazakumullah khairan looking forward to see you again tomorrow at 6 o'clock sharp Subhanakallahu wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik and Allah knows best